the very first hybrid AF ablation procedure was performed here in Maastricht back in 2008. And actually we developed this procedure in order to make results better. On one hand you have the surgical approach, which makes very good lesions, but it is a one-size-fits-all procedure. On the other hand, you have conventional techniques, which is endocardial ablation, making lesions from the inside of the heart. Uh, we know that one downside of that approach is that lesions are not that good. So bring those two procedures together, you have the best of two worlds. The idea behind the procedure was to uh, create a technique that we would be able to offer uh, the patient a single step procedure. That means that there is no longer a need for a second procedure or a third procedure in uh, a typical case. Why is that? Because uh, since we are uh, ablating the patients from the inside of the heart, but also from the outside of the, of the heart in one step, we can uh, guarantee uh, better uh, lesions and therefore guarantee better results. So it is very important when a patient file is submitted to the hospital to have the file discussed in a hard team. So the heart team will consist of at least a cardiologist, a cardiac surgeon, electrophysiologist, and if needed, a anesthesiologist. If all the data are available, we can then decide whether the hybrid procedure will be the optimal approach for this patient. Then the second step is of course the procedure in itself, where the combined procedure will be performed in a hybrid room, which is specifically designed for this procedure. You need two teams in the hybrid room. So the first team consists of the cardiology team and the second team of the surgical team. So the first step of the procedure is the epicardial approach, which is the approach on the outside of the heart. So with the camera, we go inside the chest and we make certain ablation lines on the left and the right atrium. And then afterwards, when these lines have been created, the cardiologist then goes in and maps the lines and, if necessary, continues the lines from inside. I'm going to check if the lesions that have been made by the surgeon are complete. That's a unique aspect of this procedure. If those lesions are incomplete, we can perform an endocardial touch-up. The second part of my role is to perform very extensive endocardial mapping, so mapping within the heart in order to visualize remaining drivers for the arrhythmia. Once we have found them, we can selectively ablate them. So the interaction between the electrophysiologist and the cardiothoracic surgeon in the hybrid room is very important. The whole team is available the whole time of the procedure. Because of this approach, we have been able over the years uh, to limit our number of incisions. We started with a bilateral procedure, so on both sides of the chest. Now we do everything from the left side of the chest, which is original, because with this kind of approach, we reduce the trauma to the patient. We reduce the complication rates. We have the same uh, success rates as we had before, and we reduce the hospitalization days. Actually, the results of the hybrid AF ablation procedure are excellent, especially if you compare it to the results of the conventional approach. If we now look at our five years results, uh, we see that the results after one year is more than 90% and it stays consistent. So after five years, we still have more than 80% success rate, which is the best you can get in the world. On behalf of the whole team in Maastricht, I can assure you that we will provide you with the best possible care and treatment, so you can again enjoy your life to the fullest.